powerful, impactful, life-changing. This is the teaching ministry of Apostle Faith Manobuera, where supernatural things are happening through the anointed Word of God. This prolific preacher and dynamic teacher of God's Word is changing lives all over the world. Are you ready? Because your life will never be the same. Your success is directly related to your submission to God's Word. We are not here to do what we think or feel. We are here to do what God's word has approved. If you're going to succeed in life, God must come first in everything you do. Faith in God does not fail because its origin is God. Here is Apostle Faith Man Obweda. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. And today we we'll start our international partners prayer conference. First, we want to appreciate everyone who is partnering with this ministry, Faith Man of Weather Ministries International. We want to say a very big thank you to all our friends and partners, all our well wishers. And uh, we want to let you know that what you're doing in the body of Christ is having a strong impact on the lives of so many people. When we support the vision that God has given, it leads to greater transformation of lives. And a lot of lives have been impacted. So we have to continue to do what the Lord has called us to do. And while I was in my time of prayer, or just relaxing, the Lord gave me a word. He said, I'd like you to pray with your partners for eight days. I'd like you to pray with them. And today we'll be talking a little bit about uh, your family and praying for your family. A strong family will lead to a strong ministry. The family unit is so important to God that he created man with an intention for to have family. So family is a very strategic aspect of kingdom advancement. If the family unit is not healthy, no other unit can really be successful in most cases. But today, we're going to concentrate on praying for families of those who have connected to this ministry that your family will be a kind of family that will fulfill God's purpose. You know, God wants your family to fulfill the purpose. He doesn't want your family to live contrary to his word, contrary to his will. God wants your family to fulfill his purpose. And every family on earth is here for the purpose of doing the will of God. We can't truly do the will of God when we're ignorant of God's word. We can't truly do the will of God when we're ignorant of God's word. And God wants our families to be families that lives in the word, abide in the word. He wants our children to live according to his word. He wants everything around us to reflect his word. But everything around us cannot reflect his word if we don't submit to his word. So the submission begins with us. As we submit to his word, he helps us to make progress in different aspects of our life. Can I say this to you? Your family is important to God. It's important to this ministry because the well-being of your family will encourage the advancement of the gospel. So today, prayer conference, we are going to take our time in the next few minutes to pray for your family, to pray that the will of God, that the purpose of God, that God's intention for your family will come to pass. Hallelujah. Oh, let's begin to bless the name of the Lord. 
Likam brado se katali brado se ketoli blagada rakatali brado se ketoli blagada rekundo robo shakanda baba Lord we thank you for our families Lord we thank you for our children we thank you for our sons and our daughters in the name of Jesus Likam brado se ketoli brakata baba Likanda raba sokotoli blagada Rikondo robo sakanta li blagadan, rando robo sakanta li blagadan. Lord, we thank you for our families. We thank you for every family connected to this work, connected to this vision. Likam brado se kuto li blagada baba, rikoto li blagata li blagadan, rikanta li blagada baba. Lord, we give you praise in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number one, we're going to pray for supernatural provision for your family. Let's use uh, at Ephesians chapter. One, we're praying for your family provision right now that God will supply all you need in your family. In Ephesians 1 verse 3 said, Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who had blessed us. Who had blessed us. He said, Blessed be the God of our Lord Jesus Christ who had blessed us. Who had blessed us with all spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ. Who had blessed us? So we're going to pray right now that there will be supernatural provision for your family concerning your children' education, concerning the mortgage, whatever you're believing God for. Let's go ahead and pray. Lord, we'll begin to pray right now that there will be supernatural provision for all our partners, all their families, all their family members, all their extended families. We'll pray right now for supernatural provision, for supernatural provision, for that need to be met. Whatever the need is right now financially, whatever the financial need is right now, we'll pray for increase. We'll pray for supernatural increase. In the name of Jesus, we decree and we declare that your family will walk in supernatural provision in the name of Jesus. Psalm 23, he said, The Lord is my shepherd, and which I shall not want. We're going to decree there shall be no want in your family. There shall be no want in your family. In the name of Jesus, we decree this morning. There shall be no want in any family that is connected to this ministry. Any family connected to this ministry, there shall be no want for anything they need. We'll pray for your family. There shall be no want. A supernatural supernatural provision, supernatural supply, everything you need in this season will decree it coming full harvest. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Apostle, you're welcome. Apostle Helen, we appreciate you for coming. We, we appreciate all the ministers who are connected to us this right now. We, we pray, we, we're praying for the provision to increase, provision to increase, that there will be a supernatural explosion of provision likanda raba sokundo liblagada rikanda ribo sokoto librakada baba rikanda liblagada baba supernatural explosion in provision in the name of Jesus and the next scripture we're going to use to pray for your family is Ephesians 3 verse 20 Ephesians 3 verse 20 said something said now unto him that is able to do exceeding we're going to pray for exceeding release we're going to pray for exceeding release exceeding release of preferential treatment especially for your children for your children for your, your children that they and everyone watching this broadcast also uh, for preferential treatment let's, let's begin to pray that your children will experience supernatural favor lord we're standing with our partners children we we'll pray for favor if there is any one child that is in the prison right now that is in a jailhouse lord we we'll pray for supernatural intervention that is in a mental institution will declare right now 
Rikanda li blagada. Rikanda raba so kundo li blagada. Rikanda raba so kundo li blagada. Will decrease supernatural release. Will decrease supernatural release. La kanda raba so kundo li blagada. Will pray in the name of Jesus for your children that they will finish well. They will finish well in the name of Jesus. I decree that your sons and your daughters will finish well in the bracket of Libra Kababa Rikondo Robo Sakanda Liblagada Rikanda Raba Sokondo Liblagada Rikanda Raba Sokondo Liblagada Rikondo Robo Sakanda Liblagada Rikondo Liba Sakanda Liblagada In the Mashande Robo Sakanda Liblagada Rikondo Robo Sakanda Liblagada Rikomba Raba Sokoto Liblagada Rika Prade Sokoto Liblagada In the name of Jesus we are praying right now for, for the future of your children, that your children will fulfill their destiny. That your children will fulfill their destiny. Oh, Malikandarabo Sokundoli Blagada. Lord, we decree that everyone connected to us around the world right now will pray for their children, that they will fulfill their destiny. We come against every manipulation or deception that will come against their education, that will come against their relationship life. In the name of Jesus, we decree right now a supernatural turnaround. Likandara. We'll pray for our partners right now for their children that the hand of the Lord will rest upon them. We'll rest upon them for open doors. We'll rest upon them for divine ideas, for divine creativity, for innovation, for divine connection. In the name of Jesus. Now we're going to also pray for peace in your family. You know, some families sometimes there could be strife contention, unnecessary arguments, unnecessary problems, unnecessary quarrels. Let's begin to decree the peace of God on the families of every partner connected to this ministry. Lord, we'll pray for them right now. For peace in their homes. Peace in their homes. We rebuke the spirit of confusion and rebellion in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak peace to the families. We'll pray for peace right now in the name of Jesus that the peace of God will explode in your family. The peace of God will explode in your family in the name of Jesus. Let's also pray for issues of reconciliation. Maybe there are people the Lord may be leading you to reconcile with family members. That maybe there has been some fracas, some problem, and it has led to separation. We're going to pray. That the Lord will grant you the wisdom, the understanding that there will be a connection of peace between family members. For in the name of Jesus, we bind every spirit of strife and contention. We come against every spirit of segregation. In the name of Jesus, right now, we pray for unity in families. For unity in families. In the name of Jesus, we're also going to pray the issue concerning bitterness. You know, sometimes people can be in the family and there is a bitterness growing in the heart of someone. Sometimes when you, uh, I used to watch a particular program in on ideas extra and you see how family members could murder their own people, could kill their own person. How a wife can kill a husband. How a husband can kill a wife. How children could set their parents up. We're going to pray against every form of bitterness that could lead to suicide, that could lead to things that is not based on God's word. Let's begin to pray right now. We pray against every form of suicide in the name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of bitterness. We come against bitterness in the name of Jesus. We come against every bitterness. Every bitterness will root you out right now in the name of Jesus if there is anyone viewing this broadcast right now that is battling with bitterness in the name of Jesus we we'll bind the bitterness in Jesus mighty name we prayed amen we're going to pray for divine direction for your children divine direction for your children that they will hook up with the right people 
they, they will be at the right place at the right time doing the right things let's pray right now for divine direction for your children for in the name of jesus we decree divine direction for our partners children right now we'll pray for them to have divine direction we'll pray for divine direction in the name of jesus amen there is a scripture i want to show us that we can pray with for our partners in Isaiah 60 verse 1 he said Isaiah 60 verse 1 he said arise shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee he said arise and shine for the light is come for the light is come arise and shine we're going to decree right now this is going to be the portion of every family the glory of God is upon the families. We decree the glory of God upon your family in the name of Jesus. We decree right now the glory of God upon your family, upon your sons and your daughters, that they will walk in the path of the Spirit, that they will walk in the path of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. We decree supernatural release. We decree supernatural release right Right now, that the light of God will shine on them, that the light of God will be upon them, that they will walk in the path of wisdom, they will walk in the path of righteousness, they will walk in the path of peace. In the name of Jesus, we'll pray for that child that is battling with that spirit, that spirit of alcohol. The Lord was talking to me about this. Someone you know, your, child, your child has been battling with alcohol. Let, let's pray that whatever that leads to that lifestyle of alcohol and drugs, that the Holy Ghost will supernaturally deliver these children. We bind the spirit causing these activities of drugs and alcohol. In the name of Jesus, we pray that they'll be saved from this addiction. We command the yoke to be broken in the name of Jesus. We pray for their salvation. In the name of Jesus, we decree salvation we decree salvation i pray for their salvation from all forms of addiction all forms of sin in the name of jesus there is someone you're watching your son is in the kind of a relationship you don't like it and it's not a godly relationship it's a relationship that is bringing tears to your eyes i hear the lord said the seed of the righteous will be delivered. The seed of the righteous will be delivered. The seed of the righteous, let's pray right now for the name of Jesus. Every ungodly tie we command it to be broken in the name of Jesus. Every ungodly tie we command it to be broken in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every ungodly tie we command it to be broken by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, we speak peace into the life of this this young man will speak peace. Every spirit of witchcraft that has bewitched him, that makes him do the things he does. Lord Father, we pray right now that you snatch him out of it. In the name of Jesus, I decree right now that you break loose from every spirit holding you hostage. In the name of Jesus, right now I want to pray that your family will fulfill God's purpose for their life. You will fulfill your family will fulfill the reason why God brought it together. Let's begin to pray. Lord, we pray that these families will fulfill your purpose for their life. They will not miss their destiny with you. They will not miss the purpose of God with you. In the name of Jesus, we decree and we declare that these families will experience the hand of God. They will experience the power of God. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, let's begin to pray right now. Every wrong word that has been spoken in the atmosphere of your family that is not based on God's word will root it out in the name of Jesus. Every wrong word that has been spoken that is not based on God's word will root it out in the name of Jesus. I root it out right now by the power of God. Every evil word spoken against your family or 
or spoken by someone in the family or knowing they spoke words that is not in line with God's word, we break those words in the name of Jesus and we we'll root them out in the name of Jesus. We bind every form of manipulation and deception in the name of Jesus. Hear, hear the word of the Lord. Your family will fulfill destiny. And I hear the Lord saying, don't be worried. Don't be frustrated. Everything is going to be all right. And in this season, you're going to see supernatural open door. You're going to see preferential treatment. You're going to see supernatural miracles in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that your needs be met. Your bills be paid in the name of Jesus. May the hand of the Lord rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, I see your children rising like mighty warriors, possessing cities, doing great things. In the name of Jesus, those children will glorify God. They will glorify the will of God. In the name of Jesus, I pray right now that your children's voice will be heard. You will hear the voice of your sons and your daughters. In the name of Jesus, I decree right now. Every form of demonic conspiracy against your children, I will bind it in the name of Jesus. And I speak peace. There shall be no losses among your children. Your children will fulfill their destiny. They will fulfill their destiny. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to your family that whatever that is dead, may the life of God come into it. In the name of Jesus, whatever the enemy meant for evil, may it turn around for your good. In the name of Jesus, I release the power of God upon your son and your daughter that they will take the footstep of the Spirit. They will follow in the footstep of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, dreams are coming to pass. Visions are hushing. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that the peace of God overwhelm your family. The anointing of the Holy Ghost overwhelm your family. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus over your family. You will never receive an evil news. You will never receive a news of regret, a news of pain, a news of shame. You will never receive an evil news in the name of Jesus. I pray for supernatural release of God's power. I pray for supernatural release of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus right now. Be healed. If there is any family member that has been hurted, I pray for supernatural restoration of healing in the name of Jesus, whatever that used to be in the family that was taken away by the enemy that is needed by the family, I decree a supernatural restoration in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I pray for every family member watching today that the blessings of the Lord will explode around you in the name of Jesus. May the hand of the Lord rest upon you. May he strengthen you to fulfill your journey. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Listen to this. Your family will fulfill destiny. Your family will fulfill destiny. I hear the Lord saying, don't give up on those children. Their best of days ahead of them. Don't give up on your children. They may be doing things that you don't like today, but I want we have prayed and we see the Holy Ghost moving on behalf of these children causing things to change in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will see a different turnaround among your son, among your daughter. In the name of Jesus, may they receive a visitation of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Glory be to God. Listen to these partners. Your family is part of our prayer life. We're going to keep your family in our prayer life to ensure that your family goes well. Because when your family goes well, you are at peace to do ministry. You are at peace to be a blessing. You are at peace to fulfill destiny. And there are people watching this broadcast today. I want to say this to you. Your family is my family. All those who are partnering with us around the world, we don't see you as someone who just partner, who just give finances. We see you as part of our family. Because you are a major part of the advancing of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and will continue to see the hedge of God's fire, the hedge of God's glory around your family. You are far from oppression. You are far from wicked and unreasonable men. In the name of Jesus, I decree multiple open doors in this season. Multiple open doors for your family in this season. May you continue to advance as a family. May you continue to advance in unity. May you continue to advance in the ability of the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, we we'll speak peace to this family. We we'll speak peace to everyone watching. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 
thank you for watching this broadcast you know uh, thank you for watching this broadcast is so beautiful because the Lord told me to pray with my with my partners for eight days and today is the day one we will continue tomorrow we'll keep praying for you and standing with you hallelujah today we we'll focus on family maybe tomorrow we'll be focusing on business and jobs hallelujah that the Lord will cause great things to happen we thank you for being our partner all those who are partnering with us, all those who are sending their financial gift, uh, supporting this ministry. Together we are changing the lives of people. You know, uh, you know. together we are changing the, the lives of people around the world. I want you to understand, as a partner in this ministry, you're playing a vital role. We're able to keep the subscriptions going. We're able to do other things we're supposed to do to ensure that the messages get to more people every day. The, those that are working on YouTube, those that are helping us on Twitch, those that are helping us on Facebook Live, those that are editing videos, those that are supporting financially, whatever you are doing in this ministry, we'll take it to high regard. We want to say a very big thank you to you and we'll pray that the blessing will explode in your life. Glory be to God. If someone is watching this broadcast and maybe you don't know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, this is one of the things we do in this ministry to bring people into the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the reason we partner together, to win souls, to establish people in the kingdom. This is why we do what we do. So I want to say if you're watching this broadcast today and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, can you repeat this after me? Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth, I believe in my heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Amen. If you pray that prayer with us, it means you're born again and we encourage you to listen to the Holy Spirit. He's going to lead you to where you can belong and worship and grow in your walk with the Lord. Now, we're encouraging people to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is one of the beauty of this ministry that people could go and subscribe to the YouTube channel to be able to receive God's word. Now, I want to encourage all our partners that are watching this broadcast today. When you go to YouTube and you watch the videos, or if you didn't have time to watch all the videos, can you be sharing those videos on Facebook, share them on Twitter, share them on different platforms. Together, we are helping more people. We want to encourage you to take sharing of these videos very serious. Maybe you may have 4,000 people on your Facebook wall or 2,000 people. If you keep sharing those videos every day, you may be giving hope and help to many people unknowing to you. So I want you to always share the broadcast, invite people, and tell them more about what we're doing, how this Word of God is changing the lives of people. This is a true essence of partnership. As we support the advancement of the kingdom, God will keep advancing our lives. So we encourage all our partners. This is a partnership week for these eight days. It's a partnership week. So we encourage you that whatever the Lord will be leading in your heart to sow towards this ministry will be well appreciated. Together we are using it to preach the gospel, changing the lives of more people. Every day I get a text message one, one way or the other people telling me how the teachings are changing their lives. Thanks to our partners and all those who have connected with us to ensure that this message is taken to more people around the world. So today, you can sow your seed through MoneyGram or Western Union, or you can send it through PayPal. It's faithmanteaching at gmail.com. On PayPal, it's faithmanteaching at gmail.com. Thank you for partnering with us. And as we pray this week, the blessings of the Lord will explode. May you continue to prosper. May you continue to succeed. May you continue to win in life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Until tomorrow, the next meeting continue. Don't ever forget this. There is greatness in you.